Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how the map function works in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. What up everybody? Let's discuss the map function. The map function will apply a function to each item in an iterable. That would include lists, tuples, things like that. And the map function accepts two arguments, our iterable as well as the function we would like to apply to each item within our iterable. For example, let's say that we have an online store. To represent this, I have a list of tuples named store. Each tuple within this list corresponds to an item for sale within our store. There's shirts, pants, jackets, and socks, and each item has a price in US dollars, let's say. Now what I would like to do is to convert all of the prices within my store to euros and currently the conversion rate as of the filming of this video is 1 US dollar to 0.82 euros. So let's begin. We can easily convert dollars to euros with a lambda function. So let's say 2 euros equals lambda, the parameter will be data, colon, and the next part's a little bit tricky, within a set of parentheses to represent a tuple. We'll take data at index 0, that corresponds to the first column, comma, data at index 1. This represents the index of our prices. We're going to take data at index 1 times 0 0.82, and that's it. The first column will be left untouched, but the data in column 1 will be multiplied by 0 0.82. Now our map function is going to create a map object, but we can easily cast that to a different type of iterable. So let's say that store underscore euros equals map parentheses, and then we can pass in our function as well as our iterable. Our function is our two euros function, comma, and our iterable is our store. And that is it. Now, if you want to convert this map object to an iterable, you can easily surround this with a cast. I would like to convert this map object to a list, and we will now have a new store named store euros, which will have all of the different prices of our store in euros. And to display this, I'll use a for loop for i in store euros print i. And let's try it. Yep, that seems about right. All of the prices in our store are now in euros. Let's pretend that these prices are already in euros and we would like to convert these to American dollars. So we will use the same conversion rate but divide by 0 0.82. So let's create a separate lambda function. Two dollars equals, I think I'll just copy this. But we are going to divide the first index of data by 0 0.82. And let's say store dollars to represent our store in dollars because we're pretending now that it's currently in euros. And we will display for i in store dollars. So if all of these prices are in euros, we are now converting them to American dollars. But you may want to do some rounding as opposed to the nearest descent. Well everyone, that is the map function. It applies a function to each item in an iterable. Those include lists, tuples, the like. You pass in your iterable and your function as an argument to the map function. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how the map function works in Python.